never been called the Grand Poobah before. That's new. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Uh, we're thrilled to have you uh, moderate the forum this evening. We're thrilled to have all of you in the room. We are thrilled to have our MPPs here. Let's have a round of applause for our brave MPPs for coming out tonight uh, to speak to this important topic. So, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our Patient Healthcare Forum. Uh, my name is Dr. Sheridan Du Rai, and I'm a family physician and president of the London and District Academy of Medicine. Uh, the London District Academy of Medicine has been around since 1919. Uh, and its function is to foster professional and social harmony, to advance knowledge in medicine, to promote healthcare in the community, and to see the duties of a branch society of the Ontario Medical Association. Uh, on behalf of the executive of the London District Academy of Medicine, I would like to thank all of you for coming up tonight to hear our patient stories. Our event is about bringing broader attention to the everyday struggles that Ontarians are experiencing in our healthcare system. Tonight's focus is mental health, but you will hear a range of patient experiences. We're going to begin by hearing the poignant stories of patients and their families who have experienced delays in access to timely mental health care. Mental health care has been a prominent topic in the news and I want to take uh, a moment to share a few of those uh, stories with you, or a few of those headlines with you, starting with a story from the London Free Press uh, in 2014. So we're going to exit out of this, and we're going to see how well my surgical skills are. And this is from four years ago, and it was a story that I ran in the London Free Press um, about how um, our patients were being forced to sleep on the hospital floor. And that was completely, completely unconscionable. It was a call to action. And um, Deb Matthews quote, when I, I was very disturbed when I heard the story, we have to make sure that this does not happen again. Well, it did. And I'm gonna share with you a series of stories starting with um, Dave Warren. Can you give a shout out, please? Because you're here tonight. Where's Dave? Has Dave showed up yet? Um, Dave is scheduled to speak at the forum as well. His wife uh, made the news when she had to endure a long wait um, for uh, care in Ontario Hospital as well. And again, I'm just trying to share with you point by point some of the, high, the headlines that are out there just to make the point that this is an issue that's affecting all Ontarians. It's something that our patients are struggling with and something needs to be done about this. And this is another one. And I, I swear, Peggy, I didn't plan it this way, but you know, this is a quote uh, from uh, Peggy Sattler. Um, and she was talking about the healthcare system being a total <coughs> crisis. That, that's from August of 2017. More psychiatric beds are coming, but the staffing is a big issue. What good are the beds if we don't have the staff to take care of our patients? That's a story from a couple of months ago, February 25th. And again, another story uh, Jonathan shared from January, you know, about you know the lack of psychiatric beds. This is a story about a Toronto man who died abroad with uh, pneumonia waiting for care in the Ontario healthcare system. And I'm not sure what's going on with that, but we'll move on. And this is yet another story about a patient that was ailing in a U.S. hospital because they couldn't find a bed back here. And that's just a snapshot. That's just a snapshot. And what our, our, uh, our courageous patient speakers are going to share with you today is again a, a snapshot of all those stories. It's a microcosm of all those stories that are floating out there that are not heard, that don't make the headlines, about how our patients on a day-to-day -day basis are struggling for timely access to care. And so I'm very grateful that um, 
Teresa Armstrong, Peggy Sattler, and Jeff Yurick uh, were able to come out tonight and be a witness to those stories. Uh, because these are the folks that hopefully can get something done about this. So thank you again for coming out. Um, we need our elected officials to hear these stories and address this issue. These issues cross political lines. To that end, invitations to this forum were sent out to our elected officials in the Ontario Legislature, including Deb Matthews, um, Jeff Yurick, Teresa Armstrong, and Peggy Sattler. And unfortunately, despite repeated invitations to Deb Matthews, we were not able to secure her attendance tonight. And the London District Academy of Medicine Executive hasn't been able to secure a meeting um, with her for over a year and a half. Um, so I'd like to spend, again, a special thanks to our MPPs who were able to make it out tonight. Um, but tonight's forum, you know, it's not about us, it's not about myself. It, tonight is about putting patients first and giving you an opportunity to share your stories about the difficulties that you've experienced navigating the healthcare system or adverse consequences as a result of a lack of timely access to care. And it takes a lot to discuss these kinds of issues in an open forum. And I'm very grateful to all of our patient panelists uh, for sharing their stories today. We don't propose to have a solution for all that ails our healthcare system, but our goal is to raise broader public awareness about what our patients are experiencing with the healthcare system as it stands today. And we're fortunate uh, to have a prominent member of our community, Nick Paparella from CTV News, moderating our forum. Thank you very much. Uh, Nick doesn't like to brag, so I'm going to do it for him. Nick has a very distinguished career dating back to 1982. He's covered a wide range of stories, and notably, I'm very impressed, in June of 2012, Nick was awarded the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal uh, for his volunteer work in the community. And he's volunteering yet again for us tonight. So a round of applause for Nick. <laughs> so I'd like to thank uh, Nick for moderating uh, tonight's healthcare forum. I'd like to thank our patients for sharing their stories. Um, I'd like to not to forget our excellent executive assistant, Ms. Michelle Mazenville. Michelle, where are you? Come out from the woodworks, wherever you are. She's hiding. She's working. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she can hear me. We'd like to thank Michelle uh, for her invaluable assistance putting tonight's forum together. And again, we'd like to thank you, our audience members, uh, for being a witness to those stories. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to let Nick start calling up the patients. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>